So JT Barrett's a warrior, huh? No, definitely is. <laughs> Just a warrior. Folks <laughs> 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 no, might like actually, to call them war daddies. <laughs> no, 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 none of that. <laughs> That's funny. It's a little hyped up after the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable. Um, just talk about facing that environment. You guys have haven't seen anything like that. Was it, I mean, and you guys talked about it all week. You knew it was going to be intense. Was it even more hostile than you imagined? Or? Uh, it definitely was. I mean, their student section was was crazy loud. I really didn't know what to expect going into that type of environment. Uh, I never played a plan state. I really never played in an environment like that, so it was a lot different than what I thought. And they were stacking the box, but you guys are still trying to run the ball. Um, I mean, that makes it life it makes life tough on a running back. But just talk about that trying to run the ball when, when they were stacking the box. Uh, you know, just it's just really important for our offense to establish their running game. And uh, I mean, they they just were triggering on the run. They knew what we were bringing. When you when you're able to go into a place like that, lose a lead get down in overtime and have to score into their student section to tie the game and ultimately leave there with a win. Just how big of a character building win and, and does it bring you guys together closer as a team? Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, that's what us athletes, that's what we live for. We live for moments like that, you know, opportunities where we can prove our character, prove our toughness. And so, I mean, that just felt good. Ezekiel, Coach, Coach Meyer has talked so much about in overtime after Penn State scored when they got the ball first and that you guys had to go out there, you know, do or die, you got to score a touchdown, going into the student section, just like what was the, what was the mood of the offense, what was, what were you like, what was JT like, how were guys, I mean, when you go on the field in that situation, how was everybody feeling? I mean, I was definitely nervous going onto the field, but I mean, I mean, in the off season, all week, we're, we're training for moments like that, we're training, uh, performing moments like that, and uh, I think we're ready. Can you like explain? I mean, again, Coach Meyer was talking about you know that end of the field and just with the crowd like that. Like, is it that's is that difficult? I mean, like, can you sort of explain, like express like how you've got to score? Because I mean, you want to in the game you want to score every time you touch the ball, obviously, but you don't have to score. Mm -hmm. This one, if you guys didn't score a touchdown, the game was going to be over. What's that like when you know you have to score a touchdown? Uh, it was do or die, you know. We were on the field as loud as it was all night. You saw those white pom poms bouncing up and down. Uh, I mean, it was something surreal like you're in a movie. And uh, you, we just knew we had to go. You couldn't hear anything. Had to get face to face with JT to hear the play. So we just we just knew we had to score. I know it's tough for all you guys, but how did you think? How was JT in that moment as a young quarterback trying to get you know the offense together in that situation? Uh, he was a hero, definitely. He came out there. Uh, he had a lot of confidence. He knows a little bit banged up, and he played through it. Ezekiel, I know you guys were naturally elated after the game, but now that you've had a chance to step back and take a look at the offensive performance as a whole, what do you guys think of how you performed Saturday? Uh, very below average. We could have played a lot better. Uh, it's not at all what we wanted. To. We maybe kind of took a step back from, from the couple weeks we had before. What does that mean for what you want to do against Illinois this week? That means we just got to uh, pick up some momentum going into the next week after that. I mean, we got to come out and uh, reestablish ourselves, come out strong like we have been, and uh, finish the game. Are you guys aware of things like, like, are you guys aware that you already have one loss? And, like, when Penn State took that lead and you guys go out there, you don't score, like, essentially everything you guys want to have happen isn't going to happen. Are you aware of that in the moment? I mean, yeah, we know that. We know that, uh, I mean, one more loss and, uh, I mean, we, we come in to play for championship when we're lost, and that may be it for our, our championship hopes. And uh, so we we know that uh, even Big Ten or even making it to the playoffs. Right. So we know in that moment that we have to score, or or everything we we play for is, <laughs> is gone. Ezekiel, you guys you guys made some short yardage, you know, conversions, third and one, third and two against Penn State. There was at least one I think where you guys were where you were stopped. Um, just in general, how important in everything you guys are doing offensively, those short yardage, third and one, third and two, being able to find a way to get those, how important is that to an offense? Uh, it's very important. I think we have pretty good third down percentage. Uh, I mean, our big thing that's emphasized in our offense is just staying on schedule, and that's pretty much just like making sure like when it's third down, you got those third and shorts, so it's easier to convert. So, I mean, that's something we really emphasize in our offense.